talking but my eyes started steadily but my eyes stared steadily forward I could only look on a security body we didn't make it in time it's happened again muttering to herself Kyoko begins to gently inspect Sakura's body I wonder was she confirming that Sakura really was dead checking for a pulse or a reaction I have to go get, go get them I have to go get the others on shaky legs, Hina left the rec room, and I... Why? Why does this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over again. I... I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there unable to do a thing, time just passed. Oh, and after I don't know how long, I got everyone. What? Oh, uh, uh, ogre? Mm, yes. Hero. Yes. Honestly. Oh my god. No words. Oh, so she's dead, huh? I see. So Kyoko's been killed. I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Interesting. Sakura was murdered by someone in this very room. Is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her? It's not just someone in this room. It was one of you, Hiro, Byakia, Toko. One of you killed Sakura. What? What? You accused us before we even begun the investigation? I don't need to investigate anything. Because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. <laughs> one of you did it. I know it. You know it? Ba -bam, ba -bam. Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase by that much just by getting mad. <sighs> Monokuma, man, seriously. Um got the worst timing, man, honestly. What the heck? What are you doing here? Come on. Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. It's the Monokuma file! That's right, it's the next Monokuma file! <laughs> and don't get some mad, Miss Asahina, or you're gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. Okay, inappropriate. Now then, with that I... Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Haha. Uh -huh. Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again and then... Then I killed her? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. That whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to the most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, it saved me the trouble of having to go through for a little fight. Because even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take, a, take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... I gotta tell ya, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one. You owe them one? Oopsie, before you, all, before you get all pissy party at me, you better figure out who did it first. Because I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> You're the worst. What is this? What the hell? He owes the one? <laughs> I hate him. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I for one, I'm glad it was Sakura. Uh, Sakura, I don't know. Uh, she was working for the Mastermind after all. <sighs> Honestly, every time he appears on screen, I just feel my say myself getting. A little more and more of a headache. Ugh. How can you say that now? Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game's already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway. Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Then let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Hina? I'm okay. So let me handle it. Besides, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay then, here Hina is guard number one, but we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? 
You're always a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. Seriously, fuck you. Like, who made you boss? Oh, an order? That's fine. Fine, I'll stay behind. <laughs> then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is? Hiro, Byakuya, Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your One of you killed Sakura. <laughs> I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid, our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say, I'm not letting the one who kills Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear now. I won't ask you to let all of us in, just let me. What? What? Hmm. You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope, don't really care. <laughs> I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fa fantasy and the master anyway. Hmm. It's a it, yeah, it's a sad time right now. I'm really upset about it. It couldn't have been this asshole. Oh no! No, no, no! You can't fucking get rid of the shitty ones, but the... They get rid of the good ones. Oh, you haven't seen the video yet? Um... It was Celeste. So, yeah. And you, hero, do you really object? Uh, um... If you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? Honestly... <laughs> Useless! Useless! Just go away, honestly. It's all clear now. <laughs> then it's decided. Nothing's decided. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. But okay. we have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of, for those who are still alive and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess it's okay. But no matter what, Byakuya, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, who'd want to touch a filthy dead body? Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation he from here on out. No, honestly. Look, I don't expect anyone to sit and watch four hours of me dribbling on, so don't worry about it. Honestly. I know you've got stuff to do. What Sophie said. <laughs> Everyone keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer, to me. all of us face execution. Finding who kills Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. Alrighty. I better check the Monokuma file before anything else. The victim was uh, Sakura Ogami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There's evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. That was understandable. Four hours is, is a long time. <laughs> hey. I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside and there was no way in or out to book the window, there's like zero escape, right? In other words. This is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. Um. One that Wando kills? <laughs> it's hard to explain. Uh, but could it really happen in real life? And right before a very ex like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? 
Sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the killer commits his crime, then through some special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. You're packed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you get my suitcase? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, basic approaches including using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for all that, so for that, all we have to do is check the door to see if that was what it was, right? The second tape was when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh? In other words, basically the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to track to target the victim inside. You push the switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in the door. Something like that. However. Yeah, I'm sad about it. Celeste was my favourite. And, you know, it's... It hurts. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> ah, I'm sad. Because all the good ones are dying and none of the bad ones are dying. And it pisses me off so fucking much. But in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. Hell yeah, please do. There are no guns or arrows in school and the door doesn't have any gap that would allow it. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one for less. It's true. The first tape is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by in that? Other words. They stay hidden and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with, any with everyone else and that's that. That sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final tape is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. I'm sad. This game made me sad. Thanks. Thanks for just introducing me to Dangan Romper. I'm depressed now. Thank you. You're welcome. Not a locked room? In other words. She says that she likes all the t-shirts. <laughs> By that I mean there actually is an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry because this ge this series is freaking amazing. But it still hurts me a little bit each time. And I'm gonna blame Edward until the end of time because I'm sad. <laughs> you see this a lot in novels and things, but in reality it's generally not possible. Well, you didn't help with your Danganronpa hat and your sunglasses and your fucking wallet, okay? And, oh, it's so good! Yeah, and your t-shirts, okay? Who's me thinking I was going to have a good time? <laughs> and I'm just breaking my heart every time I play the game. We've still got two more games of this, so I'll be broken by Christmas. Then you think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room, locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Then Kyoko, which of those four choices seems the most likely in this case? It's true. Oh, I might! I've got two more games of this and we're going to get attached to the characters and then they're going to die and then all the bad ones are going to stay. <laughs> Just, I'm sad. Sad. I'm sad right now. <laughs> right, hold on, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a drink. <coughs> I need to restock my tears. <laughs> Play Dungan Romper, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Hey, you have two of your own, okay? So we're gonna have a small army of Monokuma in our house. <laughs> Could you put the light on, love? Just because it's still dark. <laughs> oh no, you have to get up. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. 
But right now, I can't really see. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room. Until I figured that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For, Sa for Sakura, if nothing else. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Right, let's have a look. Berkia, why are you still here? There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance to the room. So... It looks like a protein drink and it's empty. Don't out me like that! <laughs> Sakura must have drank it, everyone knows how much she loved her protein. And she mentioned more than once her protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. <clears throat> but still, this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the chem lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the chem lab. Just a second. But that's strange. Huh, what is? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of like blue glass. Then they must be parts of the window I brought to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can, they're also underneath it. Why does that matter? So I can't see for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. <clears throat> an important clue? I'm not sure I see how. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> the chair was shoved up against the doorknob so we can't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used in the chair. Mmm. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Go away. He's not even trying to hide how much he despises me. I better go before he crushes my soul completely. <gasps> oh, Lone! Thank you for the biddies! That is bets, right? I'm not being... I'm not blind, am I? I think so. Thank you, Lone! You're, you're awesome. <clears throat> Kyoko! However, but for Sakura to be killed, yeah, she's not to take her go down without a fight. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So, how is the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. Certainly, they, wouldn't have, they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance again, against her. Oh, yeah, thank you for the biddies. <laughs> I'll just like talk to Kyoko all the time and just like, you know. <laughs> I know, she's waifu for laifu, but I'm sorry, but Celeste is still my girl. I still love her to pieces and she'll always be my number one girl. R.I.P. Uh, okay, there we go. It's around one o'clock right now. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura died around 12 noon. So roughly an hour ago. Was that when Kyoko and I were moving to Rigo? Oh Hina. My heart breaks for you girl. What the heck? <laughs> we already know who did it. Oh, Byakuya, Toko or Hiro. It had to be one of them. You couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you Makoto? Um, well I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Then let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. Same. We all love that 2D. Let's not even lie. I have my husband, those are my waifus. Uh, what? After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. When I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon, the Monokuma fell so she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth, I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force, even, this never would have happened. Oh, Hina, I want to give her a big hug. She's so sweet, and also she's become one of my favourites. I know she's a bit ditzy and, you know, um, she's always... 
jumping to conclusions, but she's sweet and she's got a good heart. Hina, it's impossible not to have regrets, I know. Poor girl. But the fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time place she ended up dying, it might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. <sighs> Hold on, we've got some stuff to do first. Two seconds. <sighs> it's a blood stain from the magazine shelf. <laughs> yeah, well, several murders of your friends will definitely dull that chip on us, that's for sure. It must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from when she died? From where she died? Okay. The same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kinds of magazines here. Oh, a snack, a snack. Eduardo, Eduardo, I need a snack. Please. Thank you, Loon. I appreciate it. Oh, right, stretch my legs. This looks like some kind of wrapper. Huh? Oh, that's... <laughs> the body was moved. I mean... I don't know if it was moved. I mean, Sakura is quite... muscular, so I think she'd be quite... Um, I don't know if it'd be... It'd maybe like a Hifumi situation kind of thing, you know? Not that she's fat, of course, but, you know, like... You know. Carrying anybody would be heavy, damn. Mmm. Oh yeah. Got some chalky bickies. Nom 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 nom. Thank you, Lone. You are a star. <laughs> Thank you, slave. Ah, that's Do you recognize it, Kina? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Do you recognize it, you know? No. <laughs> I didn't mean it, I swear. Well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found that Jones Jack Jacket attacked me, right? I'll just stop calling in my, my butler now. <laughs> oh no! Ow! Stop it! He's being mean to me! I did no such thing. Mm -hmm. So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So you give that candy to Sakura. Mm hmm. I prepared it myself before the stream. You're mean. What? What? That was such a sarky clap. <laughs> I found a big box bit in the warehouse. I really like them. Actually, as soon as we, we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. <laughs> You have to listen to the chat, it's the rule. Then you be going in there every two seconds. Hmm? Then you be going in there every two seconds. Why would I? <coughs> and then I'll just be seeing the chat and take all the stream. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Give me. Take over my stream, really think about. I made sure nobody else could get their hands on him. You really like him that much? I wanted Jakura to get a chance to try one for herself, that's why I gave it to her. Mmm, good point. That protein bottle wasn't there before. Well, I didn't notice it there anyway, they would have had to have stepped over it. But I know they've lost all their flavour. Oh, I don't like this, it's breaking my little heart. She's so precious. Hina.
There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. And inside each bottle is some kind of Monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is, how did they get those figures inside the bottles? So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? You know, the bottle's opening is smaller than the book list inside. You've never seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words. So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Okay. What's this? <clears throat> there are shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting on. The glass is all red and these are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? So this must have been originally been a bottle. Okay. Uh, how there's something on the ground near the glass. It's a figure, it fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. <clears throat> the Monokuma bottle is sitting on the shelf. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass which probably started it as a bottle. Which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle was the weapon. Uh, I think it, I think it does have a... Oh, let me see where it is. There we go, hold on. <clears throat> um... There's evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point, the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Mm, let me see. Ah, huh, the locker's open and they're on the inside. It's a handprint. Why? What's a handprint doing here? It looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and it left a handprint in all the it's dust. True. No, don't do it. What's she doing? Fluffer, no. no. You're not going to top of the bloody wardrobe, no way. Yeah, that's true. And it looks quite fresh too. I see someone's hiding here in the locker and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was open, don't you think? And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Huh? Why not? Hey. Think back before we opened the door. We looked inside the room, right? Oh yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden there until after we opened the door. Yeah. So then, what does this handcuff mean? <sighs> Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally we'd have any problem believing that's what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she also had vomited blood. And I could see a trace of blood on her lips, for sure. I don't think she'd fit in a locker. The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Maybe her getting hit in the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? Not a chance. Byakia. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting? Naturally. Yes, most interesting, don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited of blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Oh. I've seen everything. Let's check the window. Sorry. This door is the only way in or out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window, which happened of course when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used in the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Hmm. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. 
and there's no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door room from the inside, not from the outside. Okay, let's talk to Kyoko and I think we're done. I think. Hey. She was the ultimate martial artist strong body. Mm. Have I missed something? Locker, did the bottles, did the glass bottle, did the sweetie wrapper, but it just secures the body. What the heck? We already know who did it. Okay. Uh... Eee, I don't want to speak to you. I don't like you. What? What do you want your bone? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet you in the rec room? <laughs> sorry, I skipped a little bit of text, sorry. So you found out, interesting. Then it's true? <laughs> I did receive a note to that effect, yes. Hey, Relentless, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Well, what food would do what it said in risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? <laughs> of course not, I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Biaki said he didn't go see her, is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. <laughs> hey, Johnny Kegs, hope you're doing okay. Sorry, Relentless, you and Lone are gonna have to fight it out with uh, Kyoko, sorry. Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Come on. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Gladly! Bye. Hate you. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished your drug general investigation? Yeah, I think so for the most part. So then. Then you should probably go talk with, with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided? She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had her issue. But she's right, I do have to go talk to the others. Now, Sakura wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Have fun, you guys. Oh, yeah, Toko. Where's Toko, by the way? Where'd she go? I don't remember. No? Oh, yeah, that's right. I completely forgot to be honest. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, where is Toko's room? Do 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 do. Huh? Who's, Who's there? there? Oh, sorry. Some of it's voice acted, and it's hard to tell when it's gonna be voice acted. Ah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh god. <laughs> Is this because of Kyoko? Fight it out somewhere else. Because first and foremost, she's mine. So bye. Along with Celeste and, you know, who else? No one. <laughs> Don't even say her name. It makes me. <laughs> in in my head I can. <laughs> I mean there's not really any good looking guys in this to be honest. I don't know, there's there any Not in this one, no. Not my opinion anyway. 
Not really. Maybe Mondo at a push. Yeah, but that hair. Yeah, I know, but like, you know. That hair. Yeah, I know, but just ignore the hair. I can't. I can't ignore but... the hair. Such a Sorry, I'm getting distracted. No, Thank you. Thank you, Lone. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Everyone's here for Kyoko. <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Toko slithers it into the hole. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something? I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked me had asked to meet with you. Well. I don't know what you're talking about. Byaki already told me she asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master too? Ah, I just said two, didn't I? I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? I admit I did get the note. I didn't go see her, I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm, Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept this fact. Mm -hmm. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Won't trust any of these people, not gonna lie. I'd probably do a Byakia and just like stake out one of the rooms. Because, you know. Ah. I'd be wary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. And after a few seconds... You know? What's up Makoto, did you need something? Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. Huh? How did you know about that? Could it be? Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abil abilities awakened in you? Uh, um... But, but I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byaki and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? What? What? Oh, well... Uh, um... When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh... Yeah, a note, uh... She said... Sorry. Yeah, uh, a note she, uh... How about that? She gave it to me in person. She happened to mention the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry, this music is just great. Someone just died, but it's just like this music is just amazing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> this is just so good. <laughs> uh, it's called Dangan Rumpa Johnny Kegs, Mr. Keggles. It's a visual novel, kind of like a point and click kind of thing. Basically, uh, long story short, um. Oh god. Someone write a quick synopsis. I don't have the I don't have the brains right now. I've got I've got Yasuhiro brain. So then you went and met with uh, Sakura? I think it's Sakura, but I'm I don't know. So annoying. You got it all wrong. Uh Edward writing a uh, a plot to it, so <laughs> relentless I mean <laughs> Yes it's true. But, you know, also murder. <laughs> no way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, The last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. Don't look at me. Yeah, some fat help you were. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um... Oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. You're still in his pocket. Hey, come on. Oh, sorry, it looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. When he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Also, and there's a teddy bear who is totally evil. Just putting that out there. There you go. Do -do 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 -do. It's really good, but don't get attached to anybody, or it'll break your heart. Ah, <sighs> something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? Ah? Ah! 
Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on. Uh, sorry, just a bit of trash. I forgot to throw out. Trash? What? Uh, anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. You just stop calling on that, you dickhead. Well, he's not, he's not really a plushie. He's more like a robot. Bear? Well, he's got a robot eye. Animu, that's all I'm gonna say, it's weird. So well, if you'll excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way there's no way that's all there was to it. Okay, so apart from Toko and Hero, um what next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein cam we found on the floor of the rec room. I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab, so where should I start? Uh, so the chem lab and the crime scene. So let's go to the chem lab first. Because we've already been at the crime scene, so two seconds, let's find it. Um, is that the first floor or something? I can't fucking remember. I think it's the first floor. Um, it's not this floor, is it? It's not this floor, is it? Third floor? Well, it's fourth floor, isn't it? There we go. What? <sighs> Loan. No. No. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not pulling a Hifumi, okay? Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, got it. But thank you for the biddies! I think what you meant to say was yes sir, I understand. Uh, uh hell no. I'm not a yes sir in you or anybody, so... Fucking... Oh my god, this guy. He gives me a fucking headache. I hate you! This isn't my first time seeing the show, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It looks like three shells have been connected together to make one giant shell. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shell? I have to be careful not to step in it. No, that doesn't look good. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? Oh, <laughs> it looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? <sighs> we can't get in there. Just, just, I don't. I don't. I don't think you can get in there with it, the key. Their key. And I, I highly doubt she's going to give it to us. But you're like, oh yeah. I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been so spilled. In other words. That's right, it could only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow. Okay. <laughs> what wouldn't give to have relentless stack of emotes, honestly. These are footprints? And they're only in front of the left shelf. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. By we do you mean me? How kind of you to offer? With an insufferable smirk, with an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go. Chop chop. Okay. So I got to work and before long I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. Um, so how's this? Not bad for you, I mean. For me? So when you look at look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to the shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. Night, Johnny. Take care of yourself. I 
I see. These footprints must be. It's certainly. Makoto, possible. are they yours? No. What? Okay then, let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size myself. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quick I quietly did what Byakia said. Hmm. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately? Hmm. With how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine to determine who they do belong to. Then these prints are a really valuable clue. Right, here we go. Let's see, what's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein, the protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labelled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving and this part of the shelving unit section A. Huh? Huh? But wait, there's one bottle here that's labelled, labelled, <laughs> that's labelled Chem C9. Cause someone put it here on accident. Hmm. I don't know. So on this shelf is. Looks like a bunch of chemicals, I have no idea what they are. Hmm. I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> they're reagents. Reagents? Re reagents? I don't know. But simply they're used in exper experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What, you think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter right now. I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labelled are labeled with the letter B and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving unit section B. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. On this shelf is one look around and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labelled with the letter C and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving unit section C. I should try to find out more about this shelving unit. It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, section B has reagents, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. And section C has lethal chemicals. Oh good, thank you! Uh, Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. What concerns me is that in that section there was a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? There's definitely something going on there. Ah, uh, right, okay. Is there anything else to look at? Um, I guess we'll get the shelves again. Okay. What happened? Oh. I think I've seen everything, but let me just. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I've seen everything. Am I missing something? Maybe the yellow powder instead? There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor, but I'm not leaving a footprint. I should probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was la labelled Chem C4. Also, it looks like someone left some footprints to the powder. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. I feel like we've already looked at this. According to Byakia, the powder would have had to be spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Okay, I hadn't. All right. I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take a look around the rec room. Yeah, let's get away from Byaki's ugly face. Let's go. Bye. Um. Is that the third floor? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the crime scene and see what's going on. Where am I? There we go. Okay. Hey. 
So Mikado, how's your investigation going? A Tokyo Coat Toku and Hiro told me. So along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient, someone must be lying. Someone's lying? Anyway. Well, I've made some progress on my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look over them one more time. Okay, magazines. Kyoko said the magazine shelf was, hi was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm, clue, clue. Huh? This magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back that way on accident? Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. This is... One of the pages near the centre of the magazine... Uh, a word had been written in bold bloody letters. As it, and it said, Toko. Could this be... A dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this? So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That's just Toko, right? Yeah, it looks what like the it. Heck? And she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. Oh, it's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you'd think that, but... It just seems too easy, if anything. It makes me that much more suspicious. Um. Okay. Right, the Monokuma bottles. And what else did she say again? Hey. Screw his body, okay. I think Yoko said she found a new clue involving the Monokuma bottles. Something new, something new. Hmm. Hey. Well, there's clearly two missing, right? So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention and you're sure to find it. Correlation. Um. Hey Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it is? So. I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusions so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? I do trust you, to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Damn. Only to a degree? Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces too. Huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And the obnoxious Byaki is not here, so... so then. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just as I finished up, sorry to keep you waiting. So is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words, I got a skill from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? <sighs> the pieces of glass you collected in one of the monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment, it'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. It's balanced, which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same, which makes sense. Monokuma figures inside are basically the same and nothing else could really fit the so weight. Then. Now here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. Now what might make... Now what might we be expected to see? What a normal assumption would be, either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay then, let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? I knew it. 
just as I thought. <laughs> what? Well, take a look at the shelf, Makoto. There's two bottles missing. In other words, the results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. Hey. And I believe you'll arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. Hmm. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just a second. Just start off into space isn't good to help you figure anything out. Well, well yeah, I know, but... Hey. Don't you think you make me to actually examine the body? Ugh. There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there are still some times... I still can't believe how calm you are, no matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. Then how can you... So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. More importantly, look here. Her shoes? Correct. You see that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. I see. That powder is clue number one. Hey. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that is incredibly difficult to spot, so let me just explain. It would seem... It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Two blows? Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Just she's so smart. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by lo looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. Whoops! You caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring. I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, then let's begin the class trial! You know where to meet, right? Yep, we'll be there. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Alright guys. Oh, another class trial. Are you nervous? <laughs> See you soon. Because I am. It's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will have to happen at the class trial. No, no matter what happens, I have to make something happen. Right, go and get your snacks, go and get your drinks. I'm waiting. <laughs> 